Hey everybody, I'm Zach. This is Schmirkadabber. Welcome to Final Fantasy Friday. We're gonna add uh, a new weekly event to the stream. I'm gonna play Final Fantasy games every Friday, and I think that's gonna last for a while. Um, we're gonna start with uh, one of my top two Final Fantasy games. Uh, one that I haven't played in a very long time, and I'm really excited to play. We just gotta get it started here. Uh, and it's gonna be Final Fantasy VI. I can't wait. Come on over to the stream for Final Fantasy every Friday. It's gonna be real fun. Let's go. Final Fantasy VI. Should start capturing here. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, there it is. There it is. The music is extra loud. All right. Uh, so, we are going to be playing... Sorry about that. Just adjusting the volume a little bit for everything and everyone. And, uh... I think we're good. I think we're good. Maybe a little less, once again, on the music. Ba ba. All right. Good stuff. So... We are going to be playing the Steam version of Final Fantasy VI. I really wanted to play the original version. Um, I could not get my Super NES to work with my Elgato. Uh, I think that it's not a problem with the Elgato. I think that my Super NES is just dead. I hadn't touched it for, like, uh, 10, 12, 15 years or so. And I think it's just, I, I, I think it, it is, it is finally, finally done. Uh, which bums me out. I, I really wanted to play, um, I really wanted to play the original version. I tried to set up an emulator on my computer. It didn't work great. Uh, I'm sure I could make it work great, but I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to play this version. So welcome to Narsh, everybody, or Narsha. I'm not sure how it's meant to be pronounced. Very quickly here, I just got to do something. Boom. Boom. And boom. And flip. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Moving right along. The ancient war of the Magi. When its flames last receded, only the charred husk of a world remained. Even the power of magic was lost. In the thousand years that followed, iron, gunpowder, and steam engines took the place of magic, and life slowly returned to the barren land. Yet there now stands one who would reawaken the magic of ages past, and use its dread power as a means by which to conquer the world. Man, I love this world. The world of Final Fantasy VI is so well done and so well put together, and uh, and of course it has a big change in it as well. No spoilers, of course. Could anyone truly be foolish enough to repeat that mistake? I do have to say, the backgrounds look beautiful on the Steam version, but wait, just wait. We've already seen a couple of sprites. It's only gonna get worse. It's only gonna get worse. Here they come. Here come the horrible looking sprites. Ugh. Ugh. They're an ugly mess and I hate them. They look like they don't live in the same world. It's awful. There's the city. Hard to believe an Esper's been found frozen there a thousand years after the War of the Magi. Word. Alright, so I guess I didn't start the game yet. Let's go. <laughs> Bow. All right. Okay. <laughs> Final Fantasy Fridays. Off to a terrific start. I thought the game automatically jumped you in if you don't have a save, which I don't. I, I haven't really played this version yet. Um, I played it some on mobile, uh, on my iPhone, uh, but never on Steam. I got it because it was cheap, and I was like, Final Fantasy VI, dude. I think that there are mods being worked on to change the sprites back to how they used to be and kind of get like a a, retro, a more retro feel um, to the game. But uh, I didn't want to mess with them right now. I, I, I looked at some of them. They aren't done. They're not done. And I would rather have consistency 
consistently awful than like some good and some bad. It would just, I don't know, it'd throw me off and I wouldn't like it. All right. Well, we're back. I am playing this game with my, uh, my Switch controller, which I like very much. I think it's a nice controller. It feels good in my hands. Uh, but most importantly, it's just it's Final Fantasy VI. It's one of my top two. One of my top two. All right. There's the city. Hard to believe an Esper has been found there frozen a thousand years after war and magi. I love how Biggs and Wedge make an appearance like right at the beginning of this one. <laughs> it's nice. Bah, probably just another wild goose chase. Yeah, you're probably right. I don't know. They wouldn't have let us use her unless they were confident that information was good. Ah, yes, our witch. I hear she fried 50 of our Magitek armored soldiers in three minutes. Kind of makes your skin crawl, don't it? Relax. With that thing on her head, she's a mindless puppet. Girl won't even breathe unless we tell her to. Awful. Already awful crimes against humanity. We'll approach from the east. Move out. All right. And we're off. We're getting into the game. It's going to be fun. It's going to be real fun. And it really is. Like, I can't wait to play this. And, like, look at this. The cinematics are gorgeous. Like, the, the new music is nice. Yeah, right? Um, like, this is nice. I like these new cinematics. Um, I think they look not so bad. But I don't like the sprites. I wish that they would fix the sprites. I wish that someone would finish their their mod. I mean, of course, like, thank you, modders, for doing the work that you do. But I would love it if it finished quickly. <laughs> I know that it won't, but, uh... But there he is, Nobu Uematsu. So good. So good. God, I love being back in this music. It's it's just nice. It's just nice. All right. So I'm playing this in a window, um, which is a bit of a bummer uh, for me. Like, I like my desktop background. I like it very much. But the, uh, I don't know. I don't love playing games in small windows. I'd rather have a full screen thing, even if it means there's, like, bars on either side. But, ah, uh, So good. The one other major issue that I have with this version of the game is its horrible, horrible font selection. This font sucks. It sucks. It doesn't look like Final Fantasy. It looks like... It looks like a shitty iPhone game, you know? I have a big problem with the font. And I have a problem with fonts in general, like... <laughs> so, my girlfriend uh, used to work at the Renaissance Fair, and I also used to work at the Renaissance Fair. We didn't work at the same Renaissance Fair. But we both have Renaissance Fair experience. We like going to the Renaissance Fair. We have a good time. Um, but the problem with the Renaissance Fair that we go to, and the one that she... Um, that she worked for uh, is that their font selection for their signage sucks. It's so bad. It's so, like, like, just in-your-face, like, fake medieval-style font. And I know that a lot of Renaissance fairs suffer from this, but, dude, just use regular modern fonts for your signs. Like, they're easier to read. They look better. I criticized the fonts at this Renaissance Fair and at a at a, at a party that where we were one night and uh, people yelled at me for it because like they all worked at that Renaissance Fair <laughs> and it, it could not be criticized anyway. Uh, the girl takes point and don't waste time on the riffraff. Remember what we're here for. Let's move. All right, let's go, everybody. Let's freaking go. So we're just gonna go straight through town here. Uh, we don't, we can't go inside anywhere. We can't do anything. Let's just move through. Imperial Magitek armor. Not even Narsh is safe anymore. Now, uh, also, bear with me for my pronunciations for this game. 
Uh, because it's gonna be right back to where I was when I was a kid. Um, Bioblast, like, kills everybody super fast in this early part here. So that's all we have to do. Level ups! Oh, look at this. Level ups and sweet, sweet muns. Oh, baby. Oh, no! Fernage! Go, doggos! Stop the bad people! All right. Man, I'm already happy to be playing this again. Look, I love how the guards hesitate before they come forward. It's so good. I kind of like the new, um, the new active time bar rather than the bar filling up. Um, doesn't matter. Rather, rather than the bar filling up, like the the menu slowly rises up. I think that's kind of cool. I kind of like it. All right, just getting that money, and uh, watch out, or you're gonna get pincer attacked. Oh no, we've been pincer attacked. Okay. There we go. And Bioblast on these fools. Alright. Dude, poor Biggs or Wedge, one of the two. Poor guy is taking some shots. Alright. Question Marks leveled up as well. Question Marks is going to become more powerful than you can ever imagine. Okay. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba 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 Defend the mines! Oh no, they have werewolf men. Oh, they're mammoths. Of course they are. Of course they're mammoths. Now, I'm pretty sure that Bioblast is going to heal these mammoths. Nope. I, I seem to have remembered that. So... This is going to be a cool experience for me because it's been such a long time since I played this game that uh, I'm going to have forgotten a lot of stuff. I'm going to have forgotten a lot of stuff. I'm excited for that. According to our source, they unearthed the frozen esper in a new mine shaft they were digging. This must be it. Okay, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for the exposition, friendo. All right, now then. I will be a strange light fills the air. No, I would not like to learn about save points. I would just like to save. Uh, okay. Saving? Yes, yes! Alright. Look at the new portraits. I have to say, I like Terra's portrait. But, Wegs and Bigs? Not as much. Not as much. They look goofs. They look goofs! Oh, now you're giving me information about combat? All right. I am going to use healing force here because I want to, um, I want to get up to high health before we get to the boss. Not that this boss is a problem. I don't think that he is. Um, but I think it's a good idea just for safeties. I don't want to have to, I don't want to have to go back and do stuff that I shouldn't have to do, you know? Oh, they all have healing force now. That's nice. All right, leveling up is good. Here we go. Let's knock this wall down. Mr. Wedge. Mr. Biggs. Tear down this wall. And hi -ya! He's so strong. He's so big and strong. We're not handing over the Esper. Emir, get them. Oh, now I'm going to kill their friend, their pet. Hold it. This thing's a... They must have trained it to guard the mines. What are you talking about? You know what this is? Ever heard of a lightning whelk? It's a monster that absorbs lightning. Stores the energy in its shell. Right, so whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Got it. All right, first things first, Magitek Missile on this fool. Magitek Missile is so strong. Let's go, I'll bet they all can hit here. It's good stuff. Oh no! 
He's gonna give us a zap. All right. Uh, healing force. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna play this game. I'm not speed running, um, but I don't want to go slow. I'd like to. I'd like to move through it, for sure. Magitek missile box. Okay. Bam. 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 Uh, it's so good. The music is so good. Like, it's so memorable. I remember all of this. I remember all of this. God. The nostalgia feels, man. The nostalgia feels. Come on out, man. Okay, thank you. There we go. You're dead. Don't, 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 it's teeny tiny compared to our Magitek armors. I'm sure it will defeat us instantly. Oh, now it's much larger. This thing's giving me the creeps. Something's not right. The frozen creature begins emitting an eerie light. Schwam. The light of schwamming. Where's that light coming from? Oh, wow. What was that? Wedge? You, my best, you killed my best friend. You murdered him. You murdered him. All right. Bye, Biggs and Wedge. We'll never see you again. Good stuff. Really good stuff. All right. Yay. Of course... Our lady friend here was rescued by amazing folks. Eh. Uh, what? Where am I? My, my. And I just removed the crown. He doesn't look like an old man. My head hurts. Aw, poor thing. All right. Yeah, I took this thing off of it. Easy there. This is a slave crown. The others were using it to control you. It was robbing you of your thoughts, making it so you do whatever they told you. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry, it'll all come back to you. In time, that is. Alright, old man. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't look at me, Terra. A mysterious young woman born with the gift of magic and enslaved by the Gestalian Empire. Alright, we need names. We need names. So... Uh, if I select this, right? Oh, I guess it's, I guess it's Terra. I guess it's Terra. That's okay. Impressive. I've never heard of anyone recovering so fast. You must be made of tougher stuff than most. All right. No, doggos. Leave her alone. She's a kind soul. Open up. We're here for the Magitek armor pilot. Oh, man, that old man can move. Open this door right now and hand over that girl. She's an agent to the Empire. Doodle, doodle, doodle. Empire. Magitek armor? Dude, that portrait is beautiful. There's no time to explain. You need to get out of here. These fools aren't going to listen to reason. This way, quickly. Oh, okay. Um, just one second, though. Give Just one... One second, because uh, I need I need that I need this elixir, please, dude. I can walk on a diagonal. Are you serious? Oh my God, how things have changed. 
Make your way out of town through the mines. I'll buy you some time. Thank you, old man. Well, back to the mines where the esper murder espers murdered the only people who knew anything about me. Up there. Oh no! Run! Run, Tara, run! Alright. Boom, ba, boom, boom. Oh no! Combert. Alright, so Tara's much weaker now. She can use fire. Was that thing called a sphincter? It looked like it was called a sphincter. All right. Money. Drop another save. Yup, yup. Yup, yup. All right. Moving along. Uh there's treasure up there. We needs it. I need it. That sweet, sweet treasure. Spritzer. It's called a spritzer. Now, if I recall correctly, there's a way to make fi like spells target everything, right? There we go. Let's do it this way and see what happens. St ah, we got them both. That's nice. All right. Money, levels, all that good stuff. Okay. Well, a Phoenix Down is super useful when you've only got one person in your party. It's awesome. What do we have here? A sleeping bag. Okay. Oh, no. We're, we've been surrounded. Oh, critical strikes. Dude, this is a bit of a bummer. Um, I think we can kill these guys with single attacks, right? Yeah. All right. Don't hurt me, bro. Oh, we got him, though. He can't murder us, at least. That was scary. A little bit scary there. All right. So, Tara, she does have cure. Fantastic. Let's go. All right. Boom, boom. That's a secret door. You can't tell me that's not a secret door. I wouldn't believe it for a second. Okay. Can I kill these mice in one attack? Evil mice? Jerk mice? We're rats. There she is. Oh no, run. Run. Ah. Oh, you're cornered. Whatever. Oh. Okay, bye. Thud. Oh, she's okay. Oh, she's she's not okay. She's not okay. She's a little woozy. And uh, now she can't see anything. Everything is getting a little bit crazy. My sweet little magic user. <laughs> With the slave crown, you'll be all mine. I love Kefka. He's such a good villain. Such a good villain. Oh. <laughs> ah, I love... His sprite's not bad. Sprite's not bad, actually. Do, do, do. <laughs> good, good. Burn them all to a crisp. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Mm, I love him. I love him. All right. Soldiers of the Empire. We stand at the dawn of a new age. The lost power of magic has returned to us. We are the chosen ones. Kefka, Leo, Celeste, and Terra. The time has come for us to claim our rightful dominion over the world. Nothing shall stand in our way. 
Hooray! Long live ever, Gestal! We love you, Gestal. You're so good. Dude. That's some serious, like, World War II imagery right there. I'll tell you what. I will tell you what. Okay, Tara. Nope, you're not okay. You're not okay. All right. Ah, uh, my favorite character in the game. Took you long enough? Busy with all the robbing and plundering, I presume. What, what, what? No. I'm a treasure hunter and trail-worn traveler searching the world over for relics of the past. And my name is Locke. Um, so, hold on. There we go. Alright. So this one's gonna be Schmur. Because he's my favorite, and I get to have him. Yay, it's Schmur. I prefer the term treasure hunting. Ha! Semantic nonsense! There's a huge difference. Tut tut, everyone. Tut tut. Anyway, is there something you need me to do? Oh, there is indeed. I met the girl. Y you don't mean... The city guard is pursuing her as we speak. The city has the strength to stand up to this empire, but won't use it. People are just too stubbornly independent to join an underground resistance group like the Returners. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Exposition. I tried to explain that the Empire was controlling the girl, but they wouldn't even listen. Alright, so you want me to get her out of Narsh? That would be the idea. Make your way to Figaro for the time being. Okay, old man. You got it, buddy. I'll save her. Here I come. <laughs> so good. So good. Ah, uh, that's a lot of blinking. All right. Hooey. Now we've got her. So this was something that was fresh in this game. This is a very weird, very weird, like, mechanic coming up. Oh, wonderful. There's a whole bunch of them. It's okay. Coupeau! Yes. 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 I love them. Moogles, are you saying you want to help? Big nod. Ah, uh, they're freaking adorable and I love them. Okay. Hello. Use us to protect Terra from the guards. Um, nah. All right. This is going to be easy peasy. Um, so we just use these guys to murderize everybody. Uh-oh. Snowstorm sucks. That's a very strong attack, actually. Alright, good damage there. You're dead. Let's go. Alright. Gotcha. More Moogle powers. No Snowstorm, please. No... Okay, Chompy Chomp is fine. Ah, come on! <laughs> come on! That's lame. Alright. Okay, meanwhile, um, let's just get you out of the way for a second. We're gonna switch out to somebody else here. And, uh, you can just stand right there so they, like, have to fight you. Alright, let's go. All right, is this the team with Mog? Yes, yes it is. I love it. Uh, I can, oh no, you're not Mog. You're not Mog. All right, get wrecked. Oh, sorry, my eye's a little itchy. I mastered a new dance, it is Mog. Okay. So I love this, Mog has the power to dance, the power of dancing. Don't die, number two. Oh, he died. Poisonous frog in your face. Oh, jeez. Sorry, everybody. Got something in my eye. It sucks. Oh, okay. And uh, there's more? Yes, let's get this guy. I know that we've got a dead Moogle here, but we can handle it. We don't even want to dance, honestly. We 
Well, we're dancing anyway, though. Uh, we just kind of want to attack. The cave -in should kill you. 20 damage and then damage over time, I guess. Ugh. Ugh. My eyes. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now then. We can come back here, because I want to go after the big boss, right? Um, does anybody... Okay, only Shmur has abilities. So, everybody's going to get a potion. Be, and I want to use this team, because I want to be able to steal from this guy, right? Yeah, he's a boss, I get it. Oh no, you've been netted. Okay, let's steal from this jerk. Ba, 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 ba. Got a mithril knife. That's nice. I love this music so much. He's just killing folks one by one, but Schmur can handle it. He's a big tough boy. He's a big tough boy. Let's go. This is bad. <laughs> this is not good. Are we gonna die here? Is this really about to happen? Thank you. Really? How are you not dead? No! Alright, well... He's okay. Let's try Mog. <laughs> it's the same fight. That's so lame. That's so lame. All right, we got to dance. Twilight Requiem here. Okay, I think you're dead. No? That sucks. Okay. <laughs> Why are you using Snare? Well, okay, at least he's dead. No! This is horrible. <laughs> I can't believe I've already lost a fight here. Die. Just die. Nope. Nice block, Mog. Alright. Ooh, this might do it. This might do it. Nice. Uh, we got the Mithril Knife anyway, so that's good. Had to use a bunch of potions to do it, but whatever. We're done. I'm sorry I died trying to protect you. Thanks, Moogles. We're in your debt. Yeah. Alright, let's go. We've saved her. Now we gotta get out of here. Get out. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. The switch ought to make something happen. Who knows what? Who knows what? Okay. Eh, you back with us? You saved me? Save your thanks for the Moogles. Ugh, I can't remember a thing. It's like my mind's trapped in a fog. You lost your memory? What, what, what? A man said it would come back. Eventually. So you've got amnesia. Don't worry, I won't leave your side until your memory returns. I'm not gonna up and abandon someone just because they lost their memory. I'll keep you safe, I promise. Yay, Locke, he's so nice and sweet and kind. Okay. Hooray! I wonder how much HP he has. I guess it shouldn't matter, really. Are you the old man? This is a school for the beginning adventurer. Despite all our recent advances in technology, the outside world remains full of monsters we know little about. Here we provide advice to travelers brave enough to face as many dangers. Let me in. I think there's treasure in here. Uh, there's also definitely a save point. Okay, we need uh, Shmur here to equip the Mithril Knife, please. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> yeah, give me that treasure. Oh no, there's a monster in it. How could we ever have known? 
Ba -ba -da -ba. Potions may taste funny. Yeah. Sleeping at an inn fully heals you. Sometimes there's stuff in pots. Yep. Sometimes books tell you things. There's also these jerks. You choose things uh, in the menus. Oh my god, for real? Are you really? Oh, wow. You're, you've been really helpful. Same guy that looks exactly the same as everyone else. All right, what do we have in here? Battle tactics. Don't care. Just give me that treasure. Yes, yes. The treasures. Right, check the pots. Always check the pots. Nothing. What a jip. All right. Out of the way, fools. I got things to do. Tre no. Oh, it's so weird that they all look exactly the same. Did they look exactly the same in the original, too? Get out of my way, fool. Thank you. Check the pot. Bam. Nothing. Nothing. All right. Let's get out of here. Um, I feel like... Wasn't there a... Yeah. No. I thought there was a secret passage in here, but I guess I'm wrong. All right. Get me out of this miserable place. And we're going to go straight to Figaro. Oh, no, it's a rabbit. Kill it. <laughs> all right, that, that was fun. That was fun. Dead rabbits all over the place when you got Schmur on, on, on duty. All right, through the woods, through the desert. What do we have here? Ooh, it's a big fight. Okay. I would like you to cast fire. No, don't run. I just want you to cast fire on everybody. Don't run away. Stop it. Stop running. Thank you. Okay. Who's alive? Everyone. Die then. All right. Good stuff. There we go. Starting to figure things out here. Do, 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 do. It's a it's it's a slightly different interface than I remember as well, uh, which I don't mind, um, but it's gonna take me a little bit of time to get used to it. I gotta edit some options too. I gotta make it so it always starts on fight. That's necessary. It's a lot of money. Okay, we need to config here. Um, battle messages, battle window. Oh, so we can change it back. Orders commands from left to right and enables... Oh, no, I don't like that. Default. Gauge, yes. Re-equip. Optimize. Cursor position. Reset. Ooh, we can change the window patterns. Does it have Doom Chocobos again? I do like red. We'll probably, we'll probably go back to red. But uh, green is nice. Gray. No Doom Chocobos. That's a bummer. We're going to do green, actually. I like it. All right. Figaro looks entirely different than it did before. Halt! Oh, it's you. Proceed. <laughs> you recognized me so quickly. All right. Do, 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 do. It feels so good to be back in this world, man. It feels so good. All right, let's go talk to uh, to Edgar here. What is up, my man? All right. You mean this young woman is... Super hot? Who are you? Oh, my apologies. How rude of me to turn my back on a lady to a lady on our very first meeting. He's like Zat Brannigan. How rude of me. <laughs> the young king of Figaro Castle, imperial ally, and champion of the technological revolution. This man will of course be Zeke. All right. Confirm. Okay, we got Zeke action. Ba -ba -ba -da. I am Zeke, the king of Figaro. Heh, <laughs> surprised that someone like me knows a king. Had, then they headbutt each other a few times. Well, I'll catch you two later. 
Zoom! So, you're an Imperial soldier, right? Don't worry, Figaro and the Empire are allies. Feel free to rest here as long as you'd like. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Why are you being so kind to me? Is it because of my abilities? Nope, it's because you're super sexy. I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. I guess your abilities would rank a distant third. Goodbye. Oh, nope. What? What's the matter? Guess my technique's getting a bit rusty. <laughs> oh, I love him. I suppose a normal girl would have felt something from those words, but not me. Oh, uh, feeling sorry for yourself. All right. Let's, uh, let's have a little explore here. Hello, friendos. Feel free to wander about the castle. Feel free to wander about the castle. Where, is that what you're paid to say? I guess it is. Feel free to wander about the castle. I heard the Gestalian Empire got its hands on something called magic. Now that Gestal has the power of Magitek at his command, he's set his sights on world domination. Oh, that Gestal. Treasure. A phoenix down, I love it. You wouldn't know by looking at it, but this castle is loaded with advanced technology. For example, uh, whoops, <laughs> it's all top secret. It actually can't do anything. <laughs> Let's go. Hello. Figaro has an alliance with the Empire. Thanks. Do, 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 do. We can rest? Yeah, let's do it. Rest with the ladies in here? It's gonna go go nicely. Alright. And let's have a chat with these ladies, too. Hello! Our king showers his attention on women. Young, old, pretty, or plain. No one is safe. No one is safe? It's kind of a, a scary thing to say about the situation. Not too long ago, the king tried to hit on the high priestess. Oh, did she ever let him have it? I'm sure he's made a pass or two at you already, hasn't he? Um, yes. You could have just said yes, Tara, because that's exactly what he did. Uh, anyway, let's move along. This is Figaro, the Desert Castle. Thanks. Boo, 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 boo. Zeke has a twin brother, you know. He was nice boy, always thinking of his family. Let's reminisce about it. <laughs> okay. Zeke, what's wrong with Dad? Oh, why is everyone talking about his successor? Are you blind? Haven't you seen how thin his face has become? So sad. What do you mean? Zeke. Zeke. Having a hard time getting their name straight because I hate the font so much. Are you crying? Aww. Zeke's twin brother, who traded the throne for his own freedom. Zeke's twin brother can be, uh, let's see. How many words do we get? Not very many. Um, okay, so this'll be Kali. Everybody loves Sabin, or Sabin, so, um, Kali can be Sabin. I'm sure he'll be happy with that choice. Ah, oh, yes, Kali. I'm sure he's a fine young man by now. It was just a boy when he left, even smaller than his brother. I often wonder where he is now and what he's doing. Do, 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 do. His Highness said he'd marry me when I get old enough. That's creepy. That's creepy. It's creepy. No other way to say it. It's creepy. The Castalian Empire has already overthrown all three of the other nations on the southern continent. It's only a matter of time before they make their way up here. Yeah. Why are you allied with them? You fools. You fools. You short-sighted fools. Okay. Um, I believe we can go, like, behind the castle to the other side here. I hope so, at least.
What do you have to say for yourself? This is Figaro the Desert Castle. Oh, of course. Of course. All right. Uh, this is, uh, Kali's room, I think. Hello! The advanced weapons and other items we manufacture here are shipped to South Figaro. South Figaro. Probably my favorite town in the game. So good. Such a cool little city. Well, well designed. Very well designed. All right. Making our way back. We've seen the flashback, so we should... Whoops. We should be able to, um... To talk to, to Zeke again. Scholars all over the world are studying magic, but you can only learn so much about something without seeing it. I can show you. I am magic. The ancients once wielded a force known as magic. Those who mastered the art were called magi. I'm a magi. I'm a, I'm a magus. A magus. Mugus. Okay. Um, isn't there a shop in here? Ooh. Ooh. B1F. The Figaro Castle engine room is down those stairs. The engines are currently undergoing maintenance, so we can be ready to move at a moment's notice. I can't let you go down there. It's too dangerous. All right. Well, old man. Pastel finest. <laughs> yes, you are exactly right, Doomstervire. You are exactly right. Uh, it's it's just the worst, isn't it? It's just the worst. Uh, these good-for-nothing brigands have been locked up for thievery and worse. You'd best keep a safe distance. All right. Um, I'd like to talk to this, uh, this mammoth that you have. I'm Lone Wolf the Pickpocket. Okay, hello, Lone Wolf the Pickpocket. How about you? Who are you? Get down here and talk to me. Oh, of course. Of course. I demand to see Zeke. How dare they keep us in this stinking pit? Something smells terrible in here. Oh, I think it's me. Yeah, it probably is. How did they not put something in that box? They let you go behind it and they put nothing in it? How dare they? Relax, my boys are just blowing off some steam. I'm sure King Zeke will let us out of here in no time. We're just small potatoes compared to the real threat lurking out there. King Zeke knows that. Okay, bye. All right. Yeah, pastel fantasy. I do love this game, though. I do love this game. And honestly, like, some of the sprites so far look okay. Terra's is hideous. Terra's is hideous. I swear there was a shop in here. Wasn't there a shop in here? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am wrong. No big deal, though. Let Aha! It's these things. Yes, you have a treasure chest, a gold needle, and I could buy things. I'm not going to, but I could. Let's go over to the other one. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So we don't need the auto crossbow. That's why we can't buy it. Look at how much freaking money we have, dude. Give me the tools. Give me the tools. Potion and an antidote. I like it. All right. Now, where do we go to talk to Zeke again? The king's brother was so disgusted by the succession that he fled the castle, never looking back. I've heard tell the entire matter was settled by the flip of a coin. He, there he is. There's our boy. Uh, hello. Well, how do you like my castle? King Zeke, there's someone from the Empire here to see you, sire. Ah, Kafka, no doubt. Fooey! Emperor Gestalt's stupid orders! Zeke, you pinhead, why do you have to live out in the middle of a stinking desert? These recon jobs are the pits! <sighs> There's sand on my boots! Oh, I'm sorry, sir, let me get one of them. I'll get the other one! All gone, sir! Whoop, 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 whoop! Best laugh of all time. How pathetic. God, the music is so good. Sir Kafka, what in the world brings you out of my way? Oh, yes. I am Zeke the Machinist now. Ba, 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 
Um, who am I talking to here? <laughs> you wouldn't be thinking of invading my kingdom next, would you? We have an alliance. An alliance with this miserable little sand pit? Don't make me laugh. I hear you've been busy down south taking over a country or three. Just what is the Empire up to? That's none of your concern. What brings Emperor Gestalt's own court mage, Kefka, to my humble castle? A girl of no importance recently escaped from us. We heard she found refuge here. Of no importance, huh? This wouldn't have to do with that witch everybody's been whispering about, would it? Lies! She merely stole something of minor value. Is she here? That's a tough one. There are more girls in here than grains of sand in the desert. A man couldn't possibly keep track of them all. Oh, Zeke, you know you know you only stand to lose by trying to hide her from us. <laughs> I truly hope nothing happens to your precious Figaro. Goodbye. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right. I love it. I didn't like the sound of that. Mm, where's Tara? Ba -da -da -da. The portrait of Edgar makes him look like a giraffe. Yeah, his neck is like almost as long as his head. It's terrible. It's terrible. I do like the portrait of Tara, though. I think it's nice. Take her to her room. I'd love to stay and chat, but the Chancellor and I need to do some planning now. Being a king's not all tea and crumpets, if you'll excuse me. Goodbye. Follow me. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I, I really like the portrait of Terra. I think that's gorgeous. Um, okay, good stuff. Moving right along. Do, 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 do. I couldn't keep up with him. He's so fast. Yeah, her portrait looks normal. It's good. All right. Sorry. I didn't mean to drag you around like this without giving you a chance to rest. I'm... Shmur, right? Zeke told me about you. Is it true you're a thief? I'm a treasure hunter. On the surface, Zeke pretends to support the Empire. Truth is, he's collabor collaborating with an underground resistance group called the Returners. I serve as their go-between. The old man you met in Narsh is one of us, too. The Empire? But I'm an Imperial soldier. Not anymore. They were using you. That's all. Things are different now. It's just... I don't know what I should do. Whenever I try to think, it just makes my head hurt even worse. All that matters is that you make your own decisions from now on. You don't have to think too hard right now. You'll know what you want to do when the time comes. Peace! Alright. Yep. Yep. He's my favorite. Locke is my favorite. But how will I know which choice is right? All right. All right. Ba, ba, ba. Okay. I'm not a big fan of Edgar's new sprite either. Doesn't look like I imagined him. You know, it doesn't look like I imagined him. What in the... Oh no, they've set my stone castle on fire. Whatever will we do? What's going on? It's the Empire. Kefka, he... What do you think you're doing? I love these guys running back and forth. Dude, settle. Settle. There you go. Castle's on fire. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Bring me the girl. Now! I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, then enjoy the barbecue. Ha ha ha! Okay, uh, I will. The castle's on fire! Bring me the girl now, ba 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 ba. Alright, well. Dude, can you get her ready? Yes, sire. We got things to do. Had a change of heart. I love this game, but recently, sorry, I just got to stop this for a second. Recently, I thought of something and it doesn't really make sense. Not sure I want to voice it, since I don't really want to potentially spoil someone watching. Well, Jarek, there's three people here. You can also send it to me as a private message. Um, seems I have no choice. 
Chocobos! Or perhaps I do! <laughs> what a twist! <laughs> oh my! The brave and noble king abandons his people to save his own skin. How utterly delightful! <laughs> Jump! Yeah! Locke gets his music for this, and that's nice. Alright, sink her into the sand. Yahoo! What? Ba -ba -ba -da. Figaro dive mode engaged. Bum, bum, ba -da -da -da. Witness the glory of Figaro disappearing into the desert sands. <laughs> Glorious. Everyone asphyxiated. Oh, poor Kefka. Go! Kill them! Bum, bum, bum. You're never gonna catch me. Oh, they caught me. Oh no, Magitek lasers. Alright, we, we have to steal from these fools, right? Um, auto crossbow. Bang, bang, bang. I'm just gonna have Terra defend here for a second. I'm not sure what you get from these guys. What's the matter, Zeke? What made you jump like that all of a sudden? Did you just see what I saw? You did, right? Right? Yeah, this kid's really something, huh? Really something? That was magic! Ma-jick! ma 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 Magic? She used magic? Tara? Your name was Tara, right? What? What exactly was that just now? I'm sorry, I... No, we should be apologizing. I didn't mean to make such a big deal out of it. Terra grew up in the Empire, so it doesn't make sense that they would need a slave crown. Uh... Let me finish this, and then we'll talk about it. Nor did I. It, nor did I. It just su surprised me. I mean, I've never actually seen magic before. Where did you... It doesn't matter, does it, Zeke? Terra can use magic and we can't. That's all there is to it. The fact is, her magic could really help us right now. Thank you, Schmur. Thank you, Zeke. Okay, let's go. Wahaha! <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. Belly laughter all around. All right. She was only two when they raided the Esper realm at most. Yeah, she was a little babby. She was a little babby. Bravo, Figaro. See you later, Kefka. I love that they run back past him. It's so good. <laughs> Son of a sandworm, you'll pay for this. That was great. Were those bad people? I'm scared. Tara, there's someone we'd like you to meet. Like I told you before, we're members of the Returners. Would you be willing to meet our leader? Magic is going to be the key to winning this war. Magic? That Esper reacted to your magical powers. There's gotta be a relationship. I don't know any more than you do. These powers just come naturally to me. But no human is born with the powers you have. Oh yeah, bring it to a halt. Bring it to a halt. Forgive me. What should I do? The Empire will be coming after us. They want your powers for their own. And if they get them, the world is done for. Terra, you want you want to understand your own powers, don't you? Then I think you should meet with Bannon. He may be able to help you find out more about why you have them. Please, Zeke's right. There's a cave just south of here that leads to South Figaro. Let's head in that direction. Do, 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 do. 
Oh wow, this is uh this controls very oddly. <laughs> yeah, we gotta turn and then go forward, right? Yep, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna hop off here. And I'm gonna go in and we're gonna we're gonna pause for a moment. Only thing that would maybe make sense is if they thought they could draw more of her power out with the slave crown. I think there's another thing that could make sense, Jarek. I think there's another thing that could make sense. And that thing is that if Terra ever got information about where she came from, then she could become very dangerous for the Empire. That's one. Two, Terra has hidden powers. There's a good chance that the Empire knows about those hidden powers and that the Slave Crown is to prevent her from using them. That Terra actually is dangerous to herself and others when she runs into, say, an Esper, for instance. And the Slave Crown could prevent that from happening as well. Um, it didn't prevent it from happening this previous time, but, like... Maybe they think that they thought that they could control her in the face of an Esper that could activate her underlying powers. That I think the Empire does know about in some way. They do know that she is not fully human. So, yeah, I agree. I wish that they explained it in the game a little better, too. Um, and I do think that's, that's a legitimate question. That, I mean, it, it could have been really easy to brainwash her. Um from a young age but even when you brainwash somebody uh in in worlds like this in a fantasy setting uh, uh, a fantasy sci-fi setting um that like they there's a chance that they could learn there's a chance that they could remember and that's why the amnesia i don't think that the amnesia was caused by removal of the slave crown or it doesn't seem like it to me it seems like the amnesia was a an effect of the slave crown, a purposeful effect of the slave crown, so she didn't know, so that there would be no way for her to understand um, what her previous life actually was. That's my opinion. That's the way that I look at it, at least. Um, and it allows me to suspend my disbelief. <laughs> so, um, cool. Uh, that's going to be the it for the first episode of Final Fantasy VI. Twitch folks, we're playing all day. YouTube folks, thank you for tuning into this first episode. You know I appreciate it. If you're enjoying, if you enjoyed this video, if you love Final Fantasy, maybe hit that like button, follow, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. I'll see you around. I'll see you next time. Sorry, uh, I, I meant comment. Like, comment, and subscribe. Twitch folks, if you love Final Fantasy VI, I'm going to play it every Friday for a while, and after Final Fantasy VI, I'll play a different Final Fantasy um, every Friday for a long time. It's going to be fun. I love Final Fantasy. It's my favorite series of all time. I can't wait to play it every week. Can't wait. So thanks, everybody. I'll see you later. I'll see you around. I'll see you next time. I can't wait to play more Final Fantasy VI. And I can't wait to do it with you. Have a great day. Bye.